What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda. Today is day 18 of December and today we're going to be talking about how you guys can get faster at your box braids. When we talk about speed guys, it is all about efficiency. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. How you can make the process of doing your box braids more efficient, which will help increase your speed. If you are someone who is interested in learning this, then just keep on watching. What you mean you don't know Panda? She's dope. <laughs> What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? All right, guys, so jumping right into this video, your first tip is going to be prepping correctly, and this should happen before your client arrives. Not only will that help decrease the amount of time that your client is there, making your appointment go faster, but it's also very impressive from a customer standpoint when they come in and see that their hair is prepped and ready to go, and you guys can just jump right into the style. So to complete this style, I'm going to use two packs of Expressions braiding hair. I'm using pre-stretched hair in the color four. I like to use pre-stretched hair because obviously you save time if you don't have to stretch or feather the hair. So that's always a benefit to using pre-stretch. I'm going to share with you guys my prepping method. I like to prep all of the hair that I'm going to use for each style before my client arrives. So if it were to take me four packs, I'm going to prep all four packs. And I'm showing you guys my prep prepping method here. I've been using this method now for years and it has not failed me. It has helped me save hours on my client's style time. And the reason why is because I never have to stop to reload the hair. And that is really key in saving time and being efficient when you're styling. Using um, the racks, the hands, I have tried a lot of that stuff and it just hasn't been really efficient for me. If I have to stop and re-put hair on my rack or re-put it on the hand or whatever, then that's not really saving me time. So I like to use this method where I lay my pieces out and make sure that they're overlapping each other so that when you pick them up it is a lot easier um, to see and to grab each one this I promise you guys will save you time I know that people have personally messaged me and told me like I've tried your method and it did save me a whole bunch of time think about every single time that you have to stop and reload hair and lay hair out that's time that you could be braiding or braiding down so just keep that in mind you guys want to make the process efficient for yourself having racks and stuff like that may work for some people for me it has not worked I just felt like um, in addition to me having to keep stopping stopping and putting hair on it it also just took up space so I really love that this method I could just put this on my tray and roll it around the way that I needed to all right, so here we have my client. Her hair is freshly washed and blow dried. I do not require my clients to come in blow dried, but working on blow dry textures does help me move a little bit quicker because it's easier to tuck their hair in with the synthetic hair and it's also just easier to navigate. So, so my next tip is gonna be pre-parting. Pre-parting not only helps with speed, but also consistency. I feel like as a professional braider, we don't always feel the need to pre-part, but this method will allow you to kind of see the style before you attack it. And I think that that's helpful for a braider at any level, but especially as a beginner, because it can be intimidating parting as you go, not really knowing how your part should lay or where your next part should be. So this really helps you to see everything and kind of stick to the plan. And I think that that's really helpful. All right, guys, if you made it to this point, that means that you guys are really enjoying this video. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also click the notification bell. I've been uploading every single day in December. I'm going to try to keep that up after the holidays as well. So make sure you guys show my channel some love. All right, so my next tip is going to be to wait to braid down until you have completely started every single braid on your client's hair. So basically I'm going to start my knotless box braid off and I'm gonna braid an inch past my client's hair and then move on to the next braid. I honestly don't know why this is actually quicker, but for me, seeing myself move through the style, I kind of just get in a groove and I kind of just get a rhythm and I keep going. My hair is already prepped. Um, the hair is already pre-parted so I can move through really easily and I kind of just build a groove and the same thing happens at the end when I go to braid down the braids same thing I can sit down at this point which is really awesome um, I can sit down and just braid down and I really get in a groove with that as well and so this has proven to be quicker to me so if you guys haven't already try this out a couple times and see if this also works for you the second benefit to this would be if you have an assistant um, who braids down for you then your assistant can always come in and braid down for you as well I do have um, my cousin who assists me from time to time so when she comes in y'all we literally can get a head of box braids done in two hours um, so that is really really helpful so if you have an assistant then you probably use this method as well 
Okay, so this next tip is gonna happen during our braid down. We're gonna take a little bit of product and we're gonna rub that into the three fingers that we use to braid. And as you're braiding down, this is literally gonna help your fingers slide down that braid. And I promise you, it will help you braid a lot faster as you're braiding down. If you are opposed to using product, then you don't have to do it with product. Um, but like I said, putting the product on your fingers just kind of helps your fingers glide down. And then it also prevents flyaways. I know people had asked in my video before, how do your braids not have flyaways? Because yes, I do use product to braid down. You don't need to reapply the product for every single braid, but once you feel your fingers kind of get dry, then you'll put a little bit of product on there again. So like I said, you're not using a whole bunch of it, but you'll kind of just feel your fingers gliding down a lot more. All right, so my next tip is if you haven't already, make sure you guys purchase you a kettle. Not only does it heat up quicker, um, but it's a lot easier to use when you're dipping your client's hair. You don't have to transfer the water to a pot or to a tub or to anything. Um, this was literally the best thing that I ever did for my business. Literally, I'll be feeling like sometimes it's getting me a kettle, y'all. If y'all were on my channel in the beginning, y'all know I used to be heck of like kitchen stylist with it using a pot. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't already gotten you a kettle, make sure you guys invest in a kettle. I typically turn my kettle on when I have about 10 braids left to braid down. Um, that way, as soon as I'm done, I can go right in and dip my client's hair. You wanna cut out any type of wait time. So I always have my water ready by the time that I'm done with that last braid. So now that we got that out the way, I do want to talk about something that I addressed in the beginning, and that is I'm not teaching you guys how to be faster braiders. I'm teaching you guys how to be efficient. We've all heard the term um, work smarter, not harder, and that's really what efficiency boils down to. So think of your transition into a professional braider as, you know, humans, when we are children, we learn to crawl, and then we learn to walk, and then we learn to run. Um, and transitioning into a braider is the same thing. It's going to take time for you to build that confidence in order to get faster. And speed really does come with confidence. I have been doing box braids since I was about eight years old. I'm now 30. So when you guys factor in the amount of time that I've been doing this, I'm very confident. Anytime someone sits in my chair, if they're getting box braids, boom, I know how to navigate. I know exactly what I need. I know exactly how many packs of braiding hair to use, all of that type of stuff. So if you're new to something, you're going to have to build that confidence. And until you do that, um, then it will naturally take you more time. If you would like to get faster at the actual art of braiding, what I would recommend you do is purchase a doll head, which I'll link one in the description section for you guys, and some braiding hair. And just practice braids on your doll head. Practice actually the art of physically braiding. And the more confident you get with the skill, it'll literally become muscle memory and you'll kind of move and navigate through that. But applying these tips and learning how to be more efficient in the process is definitely going to speed up the time for you, especially if you're consistent. Sometimes people try a different method or try a new tool one or two times and they're like, okay, yeah, this doesn't work for me. Well, yeah, because you haven't consistently done it. And anything that is new to us is going to be uncomfortable right or it's not gonna feel right so we need to do it for enough time to know that okay yeah this method is not gonna work for me and that was the case for me using um, hair rags and all of those you know just different tools to you know prep hair I did it for a certain period of time and I was like okay yeah this is not gonna work for me so make sure that whatever your method is you are consistent because once you're consistently doing something like I said it'll become muscle memory and you can kind of just move and navigate through and you always know how to attack the style the same exact way I truly, truly hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any more questions or any other video requests, please drop it in my comment section down below. And as always, I'll try my best to get those out to you. If this video was helpful to you, let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, and clicking the notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time I post. I appreciate you guys so much. I love teaching you guys my methods and giving you guys advice. And I hope you guys found this helpful. And as always, I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. <laughs>
What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean?